after many potential voters lined the streets in Pickens today, as you've seen some telling us they already have their minds set on who they'd like to vote for. Scarlett Lishjack explains why those potential voters are braving the heat and the crowds to make their voices heard. Pickens, South Carolina is the sea of red, white and blue as people pour in to listen to the 45th president speak. I'm from Travel Dress, South Carolina. Pickens, South Carolina. From Anderson, South Carolina. Originally from here. This small upstate city is anything but quiet today. I go through Pickens all the time. Yeah, and it, it's never like this. That's because the 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, is speaking at Pickens' annual Independence Day celebration right here on Main Street. <laughs> Seen a this here before? Not, no, not, not, not in my lifetime. No, I sure have not. And those potential voters are lining up. We've been waiting for about an hour, an hour and a half so far. We've been over here about most three, four hours already today. Well, it's a, it's pretty, uh, pretty impressive because it goes to show you how concerned Americans are. I'd like to see any other president candidate, whether the Republican and um, running for the uh, primary or uh, sitting president, that brings these kind of crowds. They say is a Fourth of July week. Weekend to remember really an experience it's, it's funny it's just you want to see a man who actually uh, he does what he says this is crazy and I told her it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for her to feel the energy of the community and the support it's the first time we've been to anything like this. You're seeing the man. I don't know how he's coming in on a sleigh, a helicopter. You know, I don't know. I don't know, but it's going to be good. But not everything is being celebrated in these crowds today. They came with a list of concerns. And where this country is going morally, it's just off the, it's off the, off the tracks. So it's like pick a topic and, and we got to fix it. I think the biggest issue is, is trust in our government. We don't trust in our government anymore. I think it's the economy and an unsecure border. While those concerns may differ, many tell us they want to see change in D.C. I'm tired of being lied to. I'd like to see everybody that's in the current administration moved out. There's a lot of corruption in Washington. And the stuff that is coming out of Washington, it's like we have to change it. The people I spoke with did expect the long lines, but they said that didn't deter them from lining up to listen to the former president speak. In Pickens, Scarlett Jack, 7 News.